Hey, greetings, Fright Nights. I'm Count Jackula. I'm the Horror Guru. And we just saw Crawl or Die. Yeah, um, we'd had, we had seen this movie around the internet on horror sites and like, um, it seemed like it was getting some pretty good buzz yeah, from people. Our, our, our Twitter feed was just full of this movie. Yeah, yeah. I, either, either direct retweets from the people who made it or... Uh, people just sharing the trailer and things like that, or, or their reviews. Yeah, um, and, and if you can't recognize the movie, it's the one with the girl in the tunnel with the mohawk. Yeah, yeah, she's in a mohawk, she's in a tunnel, she's got a gun, there's a monster following her with some practical effects. That's Crawl or Die. Um, I think it was originally called Crawl, crawl Bitch Crawl. Crawl Bitch Crawl, yeah. something like that, but for obvious reasons, they had to change it so they could distribute it in places. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, yeah. We didn't like I, no. this movie no this 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 movie is is way overhyped and that's not it's not overhyped because you heard of it because you might not have but you probably have not probably haven't but good but it was really big in the horror yeah, circle yeah. in the horror circles it, i was i was hearing about it all the time yeah yeah constantly so we're like hey it's a Cool movie about a girl crawling you, through tunnels. You got of monsters some. After got and, some military chick with a mohawk in a tunnel descent style, running from an alien like monster. Yeah. Uh, you, you got some shades of like Neil Marshall, some Ridley Scott, some James Cameron. That sounds pretty fucking yeah, yeah, awesome. Yeah, and we knew it was going to be low budget. Well, yeah, yeah, know, yeah. That, we're we're, that we're used obvious. to watching low budget films. You know, low budget, some so so acting, and. Uh, psh, a, you know, script, a script that just that just does what it needs. But here's the thing. This script doesn't even do what it no, needs. No, no. The movie's just bad. Um, uh, basically, the movie is about a, a group of military soldiers that were sent to get the last remaining fertile woman, oh, kind of like yeah. children of men, um, and, ex and transport her off this one planet so they can take her to a military facility where she can be studied and hopefully the human race can be saved. But... I guess at some point they get attacked by some alien monster that... Yeah, they land on the planet and are immediately attacked by an alien monster. So them and the package that they're trying to deliver ends up getting trapped in this tunnel system, which I don't... I I was confused of whether or not we were on an alien planet. Yeah, and I why couldn't the figure out was... whether, whether we were on the alien planet or whether we were still on Earth traveling to the ship to and, take them off. And, and I, I don't like when movies like just sit there and fucking explain everything, but this movie... After a certain point, it stopped bothering letting the audience in at all, and so like I'm sitting there going like, uh, okay, so I thought I thought, okay, so we're on an alien planet. So is this a planet that we've inhabited? Is is yeah? They don't even tell us is if this, this is a like is this like a frontier world or yeah. is like are there a colony there? Is this a or? military base that they're hiding in? What is this tunnel yeah. system? What is the purpose of this tunnel system? Because it doesn't seem to be for sewage or anything. They just yeah, it just exists. It. Yeah, is it know? is it air ventilation? Is that what it is? Is it is it a uh, is it a uh, what do you call it a um, terraforming plant? Because all those things would be nice to know. Yeah. Well, the <laughs> thing is, is that look, if you can't actually film sci-fi stuff, don't set your movie in a sci-fi universe. Yeah. We never see a spaceship. We never see a planet. Like every sci-fi show, when you're traveling to a planet, you always have that shot of the planet. Yeah, the establishing shot. Yeah, the establishing shot of the new planet. The movie doesn't do that. Yeah, so we're not even sure if we're on Earth or on the alien planet. I'm pretty sure they say they're on the alien planet. But yeah, at I'm, some I'm, point they just say it, but it's like, wait. They have this whole point where they cut to their only exposition dump in the entire movie, and that is when they cut to uh, the military officer giving them uh, uh, the rundown of their mission. But that scene is so fucking boring. After a while, oh my, my eyes God, started to glaze yeah. over because they didn't even make the exposition scene interesting or fun in any way. Yeah. Like the guy is just repeating the lines and not even in like a cool military, militaristic way, just like in a really dry, you're going to this planet and you are going to find this thing, humanity's last hope, hoorah. And you're just like, oh my God, this is... Yeah, the exposition scene is really bad. And here's the here's the thing: we start off with the alien already attacking them and them trapped inside this this facility. So we have no time to get to know anyone before the shit hits the fan. You know how in James Cameron's Aliens, you have that awesome scene of them all suiting up and like her getting in the power armor and earning their respect and all that stuff. There's nothing like that in this movie. So we don't know who any of these people are when they start dying. Yeah. 
no idea whatsoever. Like, like we just know, okay, that's black guy, that's white guy, that's chick with mohawk. Like, like we know chick with mohawk supposed to be the main character because of the, because because of the uh, the tra- the material, promotional material. Yeah. But we're looking at her and we're going like, she's she's just as. She seems just as exposable as everyone else. Like, yeah, yeah. She's the, all these characters are, seem very disposable, except for their look, except for her look. Yeah, yeah. It's the only thing that makes her stand out. Now, you'd think that the fact that they're moving the last fertile female off of planet Earth would be a major plot point and would have a major effect on the story. It doesn't. It's, it's especially after having that entire large, like, ten minute exposition dump explaining that this is what they're doing. Yeah. And 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 you'd think that that means okay at any cost, no matter who dies in the process, they got to get this girl out of these tunnels and to the chopper that's supposed to take them to another planet or something. Yeah. Uh, especially essentially get to the chopper, but it's a spaceship. Yeah. But we don't see it. <laughs> yeah. But we know it's that's the idea. Um, uh, fucking spoiler. Spoilers. Spoilers. They shoot her. Yeah, yeah. They just abandon that entire mission. Yeah. Like halfway through the movie, they just abandoned it, and you're just like, "Why did we go through all that trouble of making that the crux of the story?" Yeah, like, like, like it would be more intense if, if despite everything, they're sacrificing their own men in order to save her. Like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Which it feels like they were trying to do. The problem is you don't feel it at all. Yeah, it's just like the monsters just killing people. Yeah, yeah, and we don't even know what the fuck the monsters all about. Like, we, here's the thing, not knowing. What the monster is doesn't bother me as much as the fact that because this movie is so low budget, we barely get to see this thing at all. Yeah, well, we do. It is a piece of fucking shit. It is a complete... It's really bad. Like, like... Unacceptably bad. It, it, I, I admire the practical effects, but, like, like the parts that are good about it are a complete, like, rip-off of Alien. Yeah, you want to know how bad the Alien rip-off is? This is the Japanese release of the movie. It's called Alien Crawl. God damn it. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it, it, imagine like someone who made... I'm not an, saying homage. I'm saying straight up rip yeah, off. Yeah, it's a straight up rip off. <laughs> you know, imagine like someone tried to make an H.R. Giger alien, but they did uh, like at a paper mache over a weekend. Yeah. That's what this fucking thing looks like. It's it, really unacceptable. It, it looks really bad, so you can see why they kept it in the shadows, but like... Alien, Even that doesn't fucking hide how shitty it is. Yeah. You know, and this movie is not well lit, so you would think that would work for oh, it. that no. is the other big problem with this movie, is that I tend to like claustrophobic horror movies. Stuff like Buried or The, the, the Descent are fantastic films, but the problem with this one is that they seem, seem to think that in order to make the movie claustrophobic, we must shoot everything really close yeah. up, with no wide shots, in handheld, so 90% of the time, you're disoriented about where you are. Like, yeah. What is the layout of this room they're in? Uh, where are they climbing to? Are they, Is she climbing away from the alien or towards the alien? You can't tell. Yeah, you can't tell. Because they keep doing these 180 yeah, yeah. camera angled shifts. And you're like, I have no idea where anything so, is. So like, there are multiple times where I'm like, okay, she's leading the pack through the tunnels. Okay, wait. She's behind them now. When did that happen? Yeah, exactly. Like, what's going on? And, and and it's not claustrophobic. It's just nauseating. Yeah, because when you go in close up on someone's face, you can't fucking tell they're in a tunnel. Yeah. We need to be able to tell that they're in a tunnel at almost all times unless they're having an emotional moment where it warrants the close up. And, they're, and we need to know their positions between one another because we need to know who's in the back because the person in the back is the most one in danger yes. of the alien. Whoever's in front is going to be leading the way and everyone in the middle, we got to know because we got to know the pecking order of what's happening here yeah and and you would think that because they have this like tight formation like they would do something cool like oh the alien comes from above because there's, like, there's a shaft they didn't see yeah. no that never happens they never do anything like that and basically the entire movie is them crawling to a section a new section of the tunnel getting out of tunnel into a room someone sacrifices themselves and they move on to the next one yeah and, that, and that's the structure of the movie the entire way and at one point they sacrifice the package the girl the fertile yeah girl. yeah which and i'm just, like what and and here's the, here's the big problem with that is that like okay up until that point i thought i had understand the main character's like character and there's not much there. They don't give us yeah. anything. So you just kind of have to grasp on the fact like, okay, she's badass military chick. She's got a mohawk. She cares about the mission. She's going to do this mission no matter what. But then when she shoots the uh, the package so that the package uh, uh, can can live a happy life in the afterlife, you're sitting there going, like, wait, so she's not hard-nosed military? What? She, she, she's... 
she's over emotional. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. She gets, that doesn't like, seem over like the, emotional over this, and it's like that doesn't seem like the character no. that they that, that they were giving us. Like, no, not at all. Fit her at all. Yeah, they all of a sudden is like, well, I'll kill you so you don't suffer. You're like, no, that's not. You can't it's do like, that. It's like they thought, oh, well, because she's a girl, she's got to be emotional and caring. Or and, and something. I'm like, I'm yeah, like but she's, no. like, she's like the military pack leader chick. Like, she's got to, she's like, fuck everything. We're doing this mission. But yeah, yeah. It she just been. abandons that halfway through. And we're like, okay, now she's a completely different character. Yeah, and the fertile girl has no character whatsoever. Oh, God, she no. is just an, an, an object. And for that's the, movie. the other problem. And, is and, and only that. Every other character in this movie has like zero characterization whatsoever. Like yeah. 90 Or really bad characters. Yeah. yeah. Oh, like the fucking doctor. The doctor. Yeah. Oh my God. There's a doctor character in here. You, the minute he opens his mouth, you're like, shut up. Stop being in this movie now. And you don't even know what the relationship everyone has with one another is. Like, to, I, I hate to bring it back to James Cameron's Aliens, but in that movie, that entire sequence of them all waking up, you, like, get a feel for what their relationship to one another are. You know, you have the two that flirt a lot, but, but like, one's more masculine than the other, you know? You have, yeah. you have, you have, you have the guy who's kind of, like, the Weasley guy, and then you have, like, the tough, like, leader dude who's who's there, and then you got the fucking hardened, like, like, like uh, a drill sergeant dude. Yeah, he's home. You know, you yeah. have all these characters that are very well defined and you know their relationship to one another and how they feel about one another. You know nothing about this. So ha half the time yeah. I'm sitting there going like, this is supposed to be like, the way they present it is that this is the best of the best, but everyone seems entirely incompetent and incapable yeah. of working with one another. Absolutely. So you're like, is this their first mission working with one another? Because I thought, I got the idea that this was a team that had done shit before. Yeah, and, <laughs> and they, you know, for that that whole plot point could be totally dropped, and it would have totally worked because we've done it in Dog Soldiers. Yeah, yeah. Military people are somewhere. There's a, a series of weird caverns. You gotta set this thing in like Vietnam with that tunnel system that they've got there, and there's just a monster in there, and it would have worked. Absolutely. But no, they overcomplicated it, and they did it badly because they could not fucking bring that story to the screen at all. And I feel really bad. Because I really wanted to like this movie. I'm like, okay, it is a claustrophobic horror movie with a practical effects and a monster. Yeah, it's kind of iconic character. Yeah, it's set in a tunnel. Cool. She's got a mohawk. She's this badass chick. I'm like, oh man, like, oh, like we get like badass punk Ripley. Yeah, yeah, fight, yeah. It's fights like, alien we're gonna, monster. We're gonna do uh, Return of the Living Dead via yeah. Alien. You know? Yeah, like, you got like James Cameron crossed with Neil Marshall and fucking Ridley Scott. That sounds awesome, but. Uh, no. Every single facet of this movie just falls short. Um, and then you get to the end of the movie and you realize that you don't know anyone's name. Yeah. Like, you know that yeah. one character is just named Package. Like, she's just Package. Yeah, that's all they refer to her as. They, they <laughs> never do that thing where, like, you know... She's like, I got the package. And she says, like, Amy, my name's Amy, or something like that. And, you know, that scene you always do yeah. because it provides characterization, a little bit of pathos to move the emotional story along. They never fucking and do that. And the only scene they had that was even remotely like that when she shoots the girl completely destroys both characters. Yes. <laughs> yeah, in that one instant, both characters are just irreparably now, ruined. Now I'm just like, now I have no idea what this character is. It's to the point where they get to the end and and then that and, and the movie ends. She gets out of it. She kills kills the monster, the aliens, the, t the, 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 the military takes her off, takes off with her, and, and then you just get the smash screen that says, Tank will return soon. And I'm like, oh, oh. I guess her name was Tank. Was I supposed to care what her name yeah, was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you didn't make it a thing that you never yeah. named her, so I just assumed she didn't have a name. And like, the thing is, is they make a point of telling you in dialogue like how badass this girl is after she has just completely failed the mission. Yeah, yeah. Like, what? <laughs> this chick is so badass that she was completely incompetent this entire fucking time. Yeah, is is bad, is bad. It, uh, oh, I, God. It, oh, God. I, I wanted to like this movie. Yeah, me too. I really I, and, and wanted to like it. And the word of mouth I was hearing from people, it sounded really awesome. It sounded great, but everything, the way it's shot, the way it's written, the way it's acted, uh, the characters, everything, just flat. Flat, yeah. flat, flat. And, or, or even worse, just completely nauseating and annoying. Oh, God, those, fuck that editing and those camera angles is so bad. Like... And I feel bad because oh. this isn't like one of those cases where like, yeah, it's rough, but I could see potential for how this may go. I have zero no. interest in seeing future Crawler no, Die movies. No, I, not at all. 
You know, I don't see this evolving much beyond this. If it does, that'd be wonderful. Let us know. Let us know if it does get better. But right now, I'm like, I know they're oh, making Crawler need... die too. I don't oh, think I need to. God, they I are. Don't... Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. And I feel bad because everything about this sounded like my kind of movie. I love movies like Dog Soldiers and yeah. Aliens. I love that kind of movie. This did not. Yeah, well, I was, I was right there too, but. Yeah. Problem is, movie is bad. Yeah. It's just bad. Do not waste your time. There's an entire sequence where she's like crawling underneath like these metal structures. And you're first you're not sure where the fuck she is. Um and 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 I guess the alien is like following her, but I had to like piece together that's what's happening. Yeah. And I'm like, you're just cutting between these two things. So I should have an idea of what's happening, but I have zero idea. And I just have to guess like, okay, I guess the alien is following her. And because it's so tight and so, so, so close and it's shot so tight, you're just like, uh, well, I, I guess she's crawling. Uh, I guess. Yeah. I don't know what's happening anymore. And also, that's also the point of the movie where we almost just kind of turned it off. Yeah. Yeah, we almost like stopped it because. But for the oh. sake of the vlog, I wanted us to watch the whole movie. So. Yeah, yeah, we all. But you should be warned. This thing is so bad, we almost didn't make it. Yeah, yeah. Um. Uh. Pff, I have a high tolerance for bad low budget movies. Oh yeah. And this. This did not. This did meet, not survive that. This did not meet that. No. It did not get over that hurdle, and it's a hurdle like two feet off the ground. You know, this movie was way too ambitious for its own goddamn good. Yeah. It tried to do way too many things that simply could not fucking it, It's do. the cardinal sin of, of, of the first time filmmakers is, is biting, oh God, off yeah. too, biting off a little too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this feels like that kind of yeah. film. Like, this feels like a film somebody would have made in, like, college. And it would have been like, uh, dude, you can't actually film all this. Absolutely. Absolutely. And even Dog Soldiers wasn't Neil Marshall's first thing. It was his first theatrical film. Yeah, but he'd done other things <laughs> yeah, before yeah. that, you know. And even then, he knew to keep it contained. Yeah. It's about these guys in these woods in this house. You know, like, bam. Yeah, and I think even this movie, even this movie with, like, a rewrite and some better better, uh, better casting and, and, and just pulling the camera back and keeping it a little steadier, it, it, it could still have worked. Even well, with the that, shitty effects. That's that's like that's mm -hmm. like saying the movie could have been better if they had just been better. That's true. That's you know? true. That's a good like, point. Everything is bad in this movie. Like that's the major <laughs> problem. Everything's bad. There's nothing to latch on to. Not even the practical effects, like he said. Like it it looks like paper mache alien knockoff. Yeah. Um, and not even like a cool one like Leviathan or, or, like, or Death Machine or, death or machine something or like, that. like that. Yeah. Which, which, yeah, this is an obvious ripoff, but it's a cool one. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah, it's a good ripoff. Hell, this isn't even like Gargoyles. <laughs> like, if you remember like the Roger Corman Gargoyles movie, which was. Fuck, this isn't Munchies, dude. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> fucking bunchies another bad movie that i can't that i have a warm spot in my heart for yeah but you could but by the way if you see munchies you look at that poster i tweeted this before i stand by it that poster fucking lies and that leads to the other thing if you're gonna be a if, if you're if you're gonna be a bad movie that kind of fails on every level the, the least you could do is have a sense of humor. Yeah, oh, this movie has no sense of humor. This movie is so deadly serious and, and, and like the worst kind of deadly serious where it's not even funny. Yeah. So you can't even laugh at it. You're just kind of like, oh God, when's it over? When's it over? I... Yeah, like even even like Death Machine's got like Brad Dourif like fucking And I feel real bad because there's like no scenes for us to even talk about in this movie. No, there really aren't. There's not there much to really talk about. Aren't. We've talked about the major ones. Um, every other scene is, okay, they go to this this spot. Okay, we've climbed out of the tunnel. Okay, oh, look, there's another tunnel we got to climb into. All right, all right, uh, I, uh, th this guy over here is going to stay behind and stop the alien from going, and we're going to keep going. That's the rest of the movie in a nutshell. Um, except for the part where halfway through she kills the package and just moves on her own. And that is just an hour of her crawling through a tunnel with nothing happening. Yeah, yeah nothing's going on. There's no tension. There's no... Anything, and, and don't tell me you can't make a movie about people in tight spaces really exciting. They did it with the descent. Okay, yeah, descent. another Neil Marshall movie, much like Dog Soldiers. This is the com combination of Dog Soldiers and the Descent done really poorly. Yeah, <laughs> like, and if you want like a movie that's just like really uncomplicated, like buried. Oh yeah, buried. Yeah, buried. And that movie, that movie, he doesn't even move. He's trapped in a coffin the entire time. It is just one shot. On, on on Ryan Reynolds trapped inside a coffin for two hours, and it was the most intense, engaging thing I've ever seen. Yeah. You know? So you can do this. 
Yeah, mm. you just gotta be. There's not even a monster good. in that one. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, well, the monster is the coffin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? you know, but like, yeah, this one didn't have anything. It had nothing. It's got an iconic look for a character, but that's it. You know, unless someone, unless, unless like the franchise gets better after one when they go on, like oh, I don't, man. I don't, I don't see. We got to be talking about like some Ridley Scott level of fucking yeah, improvement, yeah. Though. Because I, I don't, and not Prometheus types. I mean, we're talking like seventies and eighties yeah. Ridley. Like I really don't see Tank catching on the same way that like even Victor Crowley did. Oh like, no! Oh well, no! Well, Victor, well, fucking Hatchet. That's a good movie. Yeah, yeah. Like that's a good movie. That was tongue in cheek, and that was a lot of fun. You know. Like you, know. you knew that that wore it's that wore everything on its sleeve and it worked. Mm -hmm. This no, it doesn't. Like shit just happens in this movie. You you're like, all right, that guy's by himself. He's gonna get eaten. Chomp. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, and it, oh god. And the most insulting thing is at the very end, it turns out that it like it is a colony world, I guess. I think. And they I know that the monster is vulnerable to fire. And so this makes everything super stupid because they didn't even try that. Well, here's the worst thing. Here's the worst thing about that that still pisses me off. It's like, oh, he's the monster is vulnerable to fire. And I'm like, okay, well, the first guy who sacrificed himself literally blew, oh, that's right. literally yeah. blew himself up with a bomb attached to him and blew up an entire room with the alien in it. So that entire room was on fire. Yeah. Alien came out unscathed. Yeah, unless so it's there's like more they, than one, yeah. which that would have been nice to well, know. Well, yeah, I, I, for, here's the thing. For most of the movie, I thought there was more than one until the end, and it's just like, oh, there's just one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, which then makes you wonder, like, well, how do they know how to kill it? How many? I don't want to. I have no idea. So you're just yeah. like, uh, yeah, you just kind of went back on that because the, I, I distinctly remember, like, like the beginning scene. It's one of their most expensive shots is the guy blowing up. Yeah. And you're just like, uh... That should have killed the monster then. Yeah. Explosion. What is an explosion but fire and intensity? Like it's, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire and a shockwave yeah, yeah. is what that fucking thing is. Yeah, so that should have not only knocked the alien on its ass, but also burned it alive. Yep, and I think it was even like, I forget what they used. I think it actually was like C4 or something. Yeah, yeah. You know, thermite or something, Absolutely. which burns really fucking hot. Absolutely. You so the, the thing should have been dead then, but it kept coming. And you're just like, okay, I guess I guess explosions don't work. Bullets don't work. Yeah, Won't yeah. work. And it's like fire. And I'm like... Fire is not a separate thing from explosions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it wasn't, it wasn't like a... You could have gotten away with it being like a frag fragmentation device, uh -huh. but it's not. You see that thing explode in a fireball. Yeah, yeah. And you, and you see like the flames as people are getting up from the wreckage. Yeah. It's like, uh... it's like, this makes no sense. So, what, crawl or die, look, the choice is obvious. Uh, if you have to choose between watching this movie and crawling or dying, I would choose dying. Yes. Um... I feel really harsh about that, but uh, it's the truth. I did not like this movie. Thumbs down. Hey, everybody. Just wanted to come back in again and say that we really appreciate it when people like and subscribe. It shows your support for horror and uh, for videos like this. We appreciate each and every one of you, and I am kissing your ass like it was chocolate. We appreciate you inappropriately. <laughs> yeah, you heard it here, folks. So why don't you check out one of the other videos? Uh, you know, hey, there's Top 10 Sexy Monster Girls. That seems to be pretty popular. Check out another blog like uh, Mad Max Fury Road's down there. Or check out one of the other uh, fine producers of horror. Like we got the Horror Horror. She's pretty good. Bloodbath and Beyond. Yeah, they're pretty awesome. Find them, check them out. <laughs>